Hello guys, welcome to my channel and today we are going to learn about the execution flow of an ReactJS application. So right now I am going to select a uh, ReactJS application. First of all run this application in CMD, CMD in Windows and uh, terminal in Mac. you guys do not know how to run a ReactJS application, it's not a problem because I have already explained it, it in my previous videos. So the uh, ReactJS application uh, successfully ran. Right now, this is the home page of the ReactJS application that I have run. Now, if we go into the codes, like uh, from where this uh, everything starts, so um, it's from the index. I'm going to open up this in the text pad. Text pad is a good editing tool. So right now, here these are the imports. So when uh, when I'm typing npm install, all these imports are uh, installing the li required uh, libraries then is going towards um, app that is here uh, uh, let me open the app file so it comes here these are the imports and this is the place where the URL of every click like of every page is built that is for the that is uh, the root path, I mean the router uh, route path, which is the uh, 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 default path that is uh, localhost 3000. In my case, it might be something else in your uh, PC or laptop. So it works in a way like as this is the default one. So our default page is the global home page. That is right now we are in the global home page. That is the default page. Now, if we um, uh, now for the login pages, registration pages, it the URL is basically the route path and then slash gts slash login or slash gts slash register. So uh, I would like to show it to you. This open a new tab. So localhost uh, three thousand is my route path default route path and I type slash gts slash login and now I'm in the login page so this is how the URL works basically now when as right now we are in the global home page I will uh, take you to the codes of the global home page that is uh, it goes to the pages on and here the global home page so right now we are over here so these are the imports these uh, and the and the following are the html tags uh, html tags for uh, the uh, for the properties of the page like uh, it includes the color the background color the font of all the text available in the in, in the page now uh, coming um, to the buttons let's talk about some more uh, the function of buttons so here let's take the register button right now so um, th uh, this is the button so what happens when we click it so so right now over here the register button is uh, right here this is the register button you can see register button so what happens when we click it so it basically goes to is equals to slash gts register so the local host the i mean the route path is the default one so uh, it is not necessary to write it every time 
the as it is the default it is just going to continue with this uh, address so now uh, i'll show you by clicking it and right now you can see this is the route path localhost 3000 and then the rest of the url as given gts slash register now this is the pair now as soon as we click it we go into the into the register page uh, i mean the registration page here uh, these are the imports again right now you can see this page is divided into three parts so the header body and the footer so right now this uh, blue color at the top is the header this part is the footer i mean the body and this is the footer now let's look into the uh, header what is the header so let me just open the header component right now to explain you uh, and here header so in header right now these are the imports and the buttons such as login log out register are dynamically added so what does it mean by dynamically added it is basically it depends upon the token so what is token token is um, a, it's like a identity card identity card when a user gets to uh, user gets to log in so it's simply just like uh, if you are studying in a school you get an identity card of yourself so whenever you show your identity card they uh, get to know that okay you study in this school so similarly uh, these buttons depend upon the tokens so right now for example if you are in a uh, if you are new to a uh, website the you you can see the button called register and login so if you have a uh, account already you would basically click on login and uh, enter your account and if you do not have you would click on register but once you are inside your account obviously they are not going to show you register again or login so um, that time to get out of your account you um, uh, have the logout button visible so that's what the these buttons basically depend upon the token so if you have logged in you have the token or uh, if you have re registered you get the token so this button does not get visible and only the logout button then further these are the uh, html tags um, uh, the property of the style font colors and after every after all of this process it gets exported to the um, back to the default header that is back to the um, uh, registration page over here this is the default header then let's look into the body the registration component so as soon as we work like uh, do something with the registration component we uh, we basically come here uh, just a second i open the page again so registration component here so uh, these are the these are the imports for the registration section i mean the body only body it includes only these parts then uh, uh coming down uh coming so these are all are the imports Now, right now from here the exact like the text starts coming visible so right now this is the text box that you can see in the left corner that is over here so these are the contents like these are the contents which are in the text box then um, we have got the uh, we have got the text boxes uh, with the ID email class name from control then the placeholder so what is a placeholder Pl placeholder is basically a demo or a sample to ma make the user understand about what is uh, what needs to be written in the text box then we have the password then the confirm password and then we have the errors so what are the errors what errors are basically the the messages that are visible to us when we 
do some mistake let's say if i don't type a valid email write uh, kind of two to three letters and let it go we have a error showing us saying us to write a valid email id similarly if the password is not strong enough we get error of writing a secure and strong password so that's how it works like in the confirm password they are requesting me to confirm the password so those are the errors that we have added then uh, then we have got the check boxes the check boxes the, the, these ones down here i mean the right corner then finally like the similarly like the header part even this all the information gets ex exported to the default registration component that is back to the registration page over here so it's basically uh, the command is starting from here and then is uh, returning back to this place then looking uh, to the footer so open the footer file so here here are the footer these are the footer imports so right now in the footer we have uh, the following links uh, we have four uh, columns of links one is service by location popular searches more on gts platform contact us right now over here you can see this is the first column link uh, first column service by location then the second column popular services then more on gts platform and the last one uh, contact us and we have got um, the rest of the details down these lines the, these are the HTML tags about what color and what font and then similarly even this is also getting exported back to the registration page so this is how this is what is the flow of a react.js application hope you have understood the flow I mean, the execution flow and if you have liked it do hit the like button let's meet you in the next video goodbye